Hey everybody, what is going on? I hope you guys are all doing well and welcome to another tutorial video. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how you can export stems in uh, BandLab. So let's get right into it. What BandLab is, BandLab is a free site which you can use to either create or modify audio. You can record either your own voice or you can record uh, MIDI instruments to create a melody of your choosing. Pretty much uh, you can make a melody without the need for actual instrument instruments. You use the virtual ones available through the site. And as I've mentioned, you can also record your own voice, edit it however you'd like to create the vocals of your own choosing. Now, uh, as I said, you can export this audio and you can export the stems of this audio, which I will show you how to do right now. Now, as you can see, I do have a track here, which I have just shortened a bit. Uh, this is a piece of royalty free music. And let's say I wanted to export this audio. There are two ways you can do this. Of course, you can uh, first go into project and go into download. And now here it either tells you uh, that you can download the tracks or the stems, or you can download the entire mix down, which is pretty much the audio as it is. If I click mix down, as you can see, it'll start loading up and it'll be give me the option to download the full audio in four different, uh, what do you call it, uh, formats, uh, one being .wav, one being mp3, and two of them being m4a, uh, which is just in order from the most crisp and clean and most space demanding to the least. And as you can see, that's what it looks like. But you can also download these stems by going the same way, go into download and into tracks. And once you're here, it'll just create the mix down. And then you have two options, if I remember correctly, for downloading these tracks. Now, as you can see, it takes a bit of time to save and create the mix down. However, it really doesn't take that much. So as you can see, I'm already at 85%. And in a second, you'll see just what you can do. And yeah, you can either type or choose M4A or .wav, and you can download all of these tracks by themselves. And that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll be seeing you in another video.